Hi friends, it's me Suraj Dev. In this video, we are discussing about how to create an authentication strategy or authentication system in Angular and Air Rust API. So, come to our screen. First of all, we are building the system and we have an already built system with the Angular and a Node.js Rust API. Here, first of all, we are creating the whole methods or we are creating a lazy loaded authentication uh, modules. And in this module, we have two components. One is login and other is register. And in the authentication process we are using JWT authentication strategy so we need to insert the JWT token into the HTTP header so that we can get the authenticated API so first of all we are going through uh, home dot sorry app dot module dot ds in this we are uh, we are using with the auth guard and they provide us HTTP interceptors and use class as auth interceptor and this auth interceptor intercept the HTTP methods to JWT token into the headers so here we can go through uh, the auth interceptor and here the auth interceptor means it intercept the HTTP call to uh, an uh, authentication header with a bearer tag of JWT token. So here we can see, see he intercept request HTTP request and HTTP handler as next and then if token means if token is getting from session storage get item of token means on the login time we get an access token, a refresh token and some other data or like user id or like details so uh, if token is exist then request equal to request dot clone of headers and request dot headers dot set of authorization bearer plus session storage dot get item of token in this here in the header section of the uh, request like HTTP headers at attaching the or cloning the authorization tag to bearer plus the, the JWT token and then returning the next operation like what we want to do after sending this uh, or uh, after before sending the uh, HTTP request then uh, return next dot handle of request dot pipe of cache error if any other then uh, cache the error here like if error dot error is equal to invalid token then sending or updating the exist uh, JWT token because sometimes maybe the JWT token is expired due to the expiration time or, or uh, exceeding the expiration time then we can update the uh, JWT token by refresh token because then we can get the uninterrupted uh, authentication system means uh, and sometimes if we, if we are not setting with the refresh token then the uh, system is log out or go to the login page so for uh, exceeding or for uh, achieving that uh, drawbacks we are using with the auth refresh token so in this uh, here we are adding the authorization as token with the existing JWT uh, token and uh, content type with the X form of URL encoder then we can send with the uh, API URL 
the api url is uh, auth refresh with the, an api url we are setting the api url here like sdv test server .com. and and then adding that uh, then uh, sending the response to uh, say uh, me we after that we get a response like login response means uh, in this response we get a access token refresh token and some other data like user id or like means that we can set in the backend section and next adding that uh, authorization header means we can we just add another token means another uh, the get a uh, jailability token to new uh, http uh, http uh, call so we can see request dot request dot clone of headers equal to authorization bearer plus access token and then get uh, if get any access uh, error then we can update access or like and returning the observation and we are uh, we have uh, create a, a function like add token like session storage of set items means that set in the here like uh, a response and uh, refresh token so next we can go through the uh, authentication service like we can see there is a set authenticate and was authenticate check all the all like if the uh, session dot get item of token is exist then uh, and uh, refresh token then it return true means the authentication authenticated is authentication is succeeded yes return false and we can and this uh, service is used in the uh, auth intercept exception also and next uh, we can see uh, the login the login method in the login method we are sending a service like admin bar auth and uh, we get an uh, auth token and a refresh token and uh, we are adding that token in the uh, before sending the success uh, response and also the register here like users and like and in this login we get uh, login this dot login dot data means after uh, after login we are setting the login data and next update the access in the update access we can see the uh, auth bar refresh and like and next we can see in the authentication module like uh, HTTP client module means it's for uh, authentication thing with the HTTP uh, services so we are importing the HTTP client module here and also we need a reactive form modules it's, and their forms module for in, uh, interacting with the forms means in we have a register and login form in this uh, module so next we can go through the uh, register here a basics register here like this dot register equal to a uh, new register means register we have a class like this and uh, for, uh, in the first of all the we are creating with the validations and like here like uh, register forms and uh, after submitting the authentication it's uh, redirected to a dashboard and in the login form and there is also a submit login and here also go through the dashboard and next we can see here uh, here this is the uh, login form and we can go through the uh, application so here we just uh, we just refresh it and we can see uh, the email and password and it's all default as uh, sign in so first of all we uh, just register 
and uh, put the name as test test and uh, test at test dot com phone number as one two three four five six seven eight or zero and then one two three then sign up we are noting the animations or like uh, here so we can check yes the register successfully so then we can see the success and uh, information like user registration information here and after that we are putting the uh, login like test and uh, before that we need to uh, show you the uh, session storage data so here there is no uh, other fields like a refresh or a refresh token or a, a JWT token is not here so first uh, we just uh, creating the we are just loading the application so we can go and after signing yes the token and the refresh token is updated and we can see the authentication response here like access token is equal to the uh, JWT token is here and also the refresh token is also here and this is the refresh token and also we have user id and uh, permission level and it's for uh, we can update it with any other data also and this access token and refresh token is set into the mem uh, application session storage like refresh token and authentication token I'm sorry token and refresh token and then we can uh, then we can uh, check with this as uh, authentication method like if it is uh, if it is uh, login then we have token and refresh token if it is not a login then uh, the token and refresh token is removed and we can we just log out then the uh, refresh token and uh, JWT token is removed and also we can see uh, just sign in then it's, it is updated and next we can uh, go through the dashboard and just first of all uh, log out and uh, just go through the dashboard then it's redirect to login page and for this we are putting the uh, guard here like auth guard and in this we are using with the data service as like this uh, check auth method for in authentication guard method like can active means uh, if, if we want to uh, check a uh, url before uh, redirecting then we can check the uh, if it is login then return the true uh, flag and if it is false then uh, false flag returning and we can we can see the routing modules like uh, in the app uh, dot routing dot module like in dashboard dashboard dot routing module here we set the can active auth guard and in this uh, section it uh, redirect to dashboard when it is only on login access means if it is uh, uh, if it is uh, login or authenticated then only the dashboard section is as uh, going through the uh, URL or any other redirection when it, when we need the authentication is true so that check here like uh, a function like check auth by this way we can create a angular based authentication system 
and we can use a rust api for jwt authentication token service so if you like this video please like and share to your friends and don't miss to subscribe and press on bell button for notifications thank you